Hey Howard! We the ladies of the Eta Delta Chapter Tau Beta Sigma National Army Band Sorority Incorporated would like to invite you to audition for the National Intercollegiate Band. One of the most exciting programs of Kappa Kappa Psi and Tau Beta Sigma began nearly 70 years ago, and this ensemble still continues to make a significant contribution to the advancement of the collegiate band. Open to all qualified musicians, whether or not they are members of the fraternity or sorority, the NIB brings members face to baton with some of the most dynamically stimulating composers and respected conductors in America. Dr. F. Lee Bowling is regarded as the founder of the National Intercollegiate Band. We invite you to participate. We're going to share with you five steps to prepare your audition for the National Intercollegiate Band, as well as audition tips, including a few participant facts. Auditions are open now through Monday, April 19th, so check out how you can submit your application online. First things first, congratulations on deciding to apply for this program. We are all so proud of you and we're all rooting for you. Let's get into this audition. You actually have an advantage here because according to the National Intercollegiate Band, you're allowed to pick any piece that you'd like to audition with. You need to prepare audio files for two different selections. One demonstrating your technical ability and the other demonstrating your musical sensitivity and phrasing. If you're a percussionist, you should include an additional third selection, preferably on the timpani, snare, drum, and or mallets. Next, you'll need to prepare your piece. Scales. Scales, scales, scales. I cannot emphasize that enough. I'm sure that by now you've heard many times that scales are your fundamentals to playing and you need to know your scales. That is true. Scales are your fundamentals for your musicianship. So pick a piece that you can play through its entirety. Like we'll say my piece is an F minor. If I couldn't play my F minor skill, then there would be no way for me to accurately play that piece to the best of my abilities. So you need to pick something that you are absolutely comfortable playing. You can play the scale already. That's easy. You don't have anything to worry about. If you can play that scale, you can definitely play that piece. Performing your selections with or without accompaniment is totally your choice. However, be sure that your recordings is no less than five and no more than 10 minutes. Is your breath control where it needs to be in order for you to play that? If you know that you don't have the best air support or best air quality to be able to get you through a four minute piece, then definitely pick some accompaniment because that way you give yourself some time to rest, recuperate and keep going. And that is what you need to be sure of. Keep going. And honestly, the best thing for you to do is to record yourself each and every single time that you're playing that piece because you never know which take is gonna be the perfect take. So definitely record yourself no matter what happens. Keep playing, don't stop, and believe in yourself. All submit recordings should be in MP3 or M4A format. And be sure that the file size is no more than five to six megabytes. GarageBand and Audacity are the most common platforms used for audio recordings, but there are many others available. So make sure that you're abiding by these guidelines in order for you to put your best foot forward in this audition. Definitely be confident. And that's much easier said than done. I myself have put myself in audition situations where I was shaking before I started playing. And that definitely demonstrated through my audition piece. So my best recommendation to you in order for you to build your confidence is for you to continuously play that piece, work as hard as you can, and get yourself as comfortable as you can with that piece. And I promise you that your confidence will build. You get what I mean. And remember that we're all here for you and we're all proud of you. So, there is a reimbursement grant that will be awarded to those applicants selected. You will be required to dress for the concerts like a traditional formal black tuxedo, a modest all black dress. Will you get to practice the music before the on-site rehearsal? Yes, of course. The music will be distributed via Dropbox to all of the members who are selected to perform. Each audio file should be unedited, no processing beyond normalization of volume levels. All travel expenses and other meal expenses are the responsibility of the participant. Well, the hotel rooms and a luncheon that happens on Monday afternoon will be covered by the program. All of this information can be found at nib.kkytbsonline.com. We know how scary and how nerve wracking auditions can be. So please don't be afraid to use your resources. If you want anybody to listen to you, if you need to vent to anybody, or if you just need some help, please feel free to reach out to any one of us here. We're all here for you and we're all rooting for you.